Periodically backing up your SimpleRisk database is an important best practice. This short video will show you two methods on how to perform database backups. While we perform daily snapshots of the entire instance of SimpleRisk for customers that subscribe to our hosted services, we strongly recommend to all customers, whether on-prem or hosted, to perform backups at frequent intervals. This practice will ensure minimal downtime if for any reason you should experience an unforeseen system outage. The first method uses a built-in function of SimpleRisk to create a MySQL dump and downloads it to your machine. To do this, we navigate to the Configure menu at the top and then the Register and Upgrade menu on the left. You will need to have a registered instance of SimpleRisk with the Upgrade Extra installed in order for the Backup the Database button to appear. Just to be clear, this information will never be sold to a third party and will solely be used to support you with your use of SimpleRisk. You will need to fill out the registration information and select Register. If this does not execute properly, you will need to check and make sure that your SimpleRisk directory is writable by the web user. Once you can see the Backup the Database button near the center right hand side of the page, all you're required to do is click the button. This will download a SQL file containing your SimpleRisk database. Once the copy of the database is finished, this process is complete. The second method for backing up your database is to perform a MySQL dump. This can be done from Terminal in Linux using the following command on your screen. The default name for the database is SimpleRisk. This should create a file in your current directory called simplerisk.sql and is a backup of the database in its entirety. This concludes the video on how to perform a backup in SimpleRisk. If any questions were left unanswered or could use more in-depth descriptions, please use our customer support email address, which is support at simplerisk.com.